So I just moved to Vegas three weeks ago and a lot of people think I'm going to become a degenerate because I've been posting all my pics on Instagram. And uh, that is true, I am going to become a very big degenerate and I'm gonna to continue to bet on sports, but we're going to do so in a positive manner and our goal is to make money over the long term, okay? I'm not gonna end up on Fremont Street begging for my money back. This video is gonna be a super intro, basic tutorial, what the numbers mean, what the spread is, money line over under, different kind of bets for beginners if you just wanna learn, if you're brand new to the game. There's nothing more frustrating than losing money on something you have no clue what's going on in. This is why I don't play poker. I hate playing poker. Last time I played poker, I lost 20 bucks, but I was so salty because I didn't know how I lost it. I don't play poker for that reason. And so hopefully by the end of this video, even if you lose, you will know why you lost your bet. You will know what's going on. And so first rule of sports betting is that this is not a way to get rich quick, right? In theory, you can, but you're gonna be taking a much larger risk. You're gonna be gambling more. You might as well just play the lottery. This is a fun hobby for me, but of course, we don't play to just have fun, we play to win. Okay, that's the goal. If I wasn't winning, I wouldn't play. Like, I'm not gonna lose money to watch a game, I'll just go watch the game. Um, and so, that being said, the real number one rule of sports betting is you have to manage your bankroll properly, okay? You gotta know how much you are willing to lose. You gotta be diligent with your bankroll management. And so, let's say, for simplicity's sake of this video, and by the way, if you're just going to Vegas for the weekend, whatever, just having a good time with your friends, you don't really need to know this, whatever, go have fun. But if you're gonna try to do this over the long course, um, you need to be strict with it. So if you only have $100 that you are willing to lose betting, we're not gonna go take that $100 and put it on one game, right? Because if you lose it, then you're done, right? So in general, people bet in unit sizes and your one unit size is typically 1% of your bankroll. So $100 bankroll, you're gonna bet $1 unit. And so your unit size can vary depending on how confident you are with your pick. Typically, what I see from other people, what I stick to personally is I'll never go above 5% of that bankroll. And so if you go above 5%, you just risk losing, right? And what we wanna do is kind of mitigate our risk and we don't want to, we don't want one loss to kill us, right? And so you just never know what's gonna happen. You can have the most confident pick in the world and your starting quarterback gets hurt in the middle of the game. And then what? And then you're screwed, right? And so that's why we don't wager our entire bankroll on one game, half our bankroll on one game. No matter how confident you are, there's always a possibility that you can lose. Be strict with your bankroll, be strict with your bankroll, be strict with your bankroll. But now on to what everything actually means because there's numbers here and there and people are like, what the hell, what does that mean? Like minus three and a half, what? And so I have two games for this NFL Sunday weekend. I have a little pick for myself in here as well, but I'm gonna show you guys what this means. And so right here, bring this up for you guys. Got a little drawing board, but we have the Rams at the Philadelphia Eagles. Also have the Seahawks uh, hosting rather, the New England Patriots this week. And we can see, I'm gonna take this Patriots game right here. This thing called the spread, and this is a straight bet. Straight bets, parlay bets are probably the two most popular. There's a few other types of bets, but like straight bets should probably be like 95, 99% of the type of bets you make. Parlays are just for fun. I'll explain what those are. But in this game, we got the Seahawks and the New England Patriots. The Seahawks are minus three and a half in this game. And so what this means is that Seahawks in this game need to win by four or more in order for you to win the bet. If you were to take that side, right? If they win by three, you're gonna lose. They're the favorites of this team. The minus signifies that. And so if you only win by three or two or one, you lose the bet. If they tie, you lose the bet. If the Patriots win, you lose the bet. You have to win by four or more, and that's the current line. And what people don't understand is that sports betting is like a market, okay? So this opening line, I believe it was four and a half or five, and the reason it shifted was because more people were putting money on the Patriots, right? And so the line starts to shift, and so a lot of sports betting, which might be another video, is trying to get the best of that number. You may not think that 0.5 makes a difference. That 0.5 can make a huge difference whether or not you win or lose the bet. If you were to get this at four and a half and Seahawks only win by four, you lose the bet. But if you were to take the four now, you're gonna win the bet. And so on the flip side, we have the Patriots plus three and a half. And so what that means is that they're the underdogs, right? If they lose by three or less, you're going to win the bet. Whatever, you know, Patriots 21, Seahawks 24. If you bet on the Patriots, in that case, you would win your bet. 
that is probably the most common type of bet is the spread and this typically pays out at minus 110 odds which basically means you need to bet 110 dollars to win $100. It's like the closest thing you can get to a 50-50 bet. The only reason it's different in payout is because that's how the book makes their money. So if you're only winning 50% of your bets, over the course of the long run, you're gonna lose money, right? So you need to win like 55, depending on what the odds are for each specific game, because sometimes it could be minus 120, right? And so if you were to bet $100 at minus 120 odds, you're winning like 90 something. If you're betting $100 at minus 110 odds, it's gonna be like 94, 95 something, right? And so moving on though, and this is where the money line comes into play. It's a little bit easier to understand what the odds are. Seahawks are favored in this game. They're supposed to win. Vegas has them winning by three and a half points, right? And so we have the money line, which is another type of bet that you could do, which is just picking the teams to win straight up. You could pick the Seahawks to win straight up, or you could pick the Patriots to win straight up. Now the difference is just in the payout. The Seahawks are expected to win this game. So this minus 190 signifies that's how much you have to bet to win $100. You have to bet $190 in order to win $100. If you're betting the spread, it should be around minus 110. You only have to bet $110 to win $100, okay? So there's a little bit less risk, but you don't get the points, right? So it kind of depends on your situation. There's a whole lot more to it. Um, especially in football, there's a ton of key numbers. Patriots, on the other hand, are plus 170. So now if you see the plus, that means they're the underdog in this game. They're not expected to win this football game, right? And so the plus 170 means that if you were to bet $100, your payout would be 170. And of course, this is all, that's how much you win, actually. So your $170 plus you get your initial investment back, so you're gonna get cash out $270 ticket my handwriting is trash right on the other hand if you were to take the seahawks you're gonna it's gonna be what you're gonna cash out like 190 i believe my math is so off it's like it's like around 150 bucks probably roughly right you 100 dollars, you get 150 back so you only win 50 if you bet on the patriots 100 dollars, you're gonna get 270 back so it's a huge difference but patriots are not expected to win that game of course anything 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 can happen in sports betting. And so that is the basic straight bet. That's the spread is probably what you should focus on initially, but that's generally how it works. Now, the only other straight bet that you can do is the over and under for each game. So every single game has a total number of points that the teams are expected to combine for, right? And so if we take our little drawing tool over here, and we go over to the Patriots, we see that the over under is 45 right now. Both teams, they're expected to combine for 45. Now you could take the over the total if you think it's gonna be a high scoring game, or if you think it's gonna be a defensive game, you could take the under. So if it's whatever, Patriots 21, and the Seahawks finished with 24, is my math right? That would hit 45, right? That would hit exactly 45. In that case, it would be a tie. So regardless of whether you picked under or over, you would tie, but if this, whatever, if Patriots scored 22 to 26, the over would hit. If Patriots only scored 20, the under would hit. So you have, in theory, it's a 50-50 bet, right? But there's a whole lot of things that you could do. I actually have a stat for you guys on this game. Seahawks are 26, nine and three against that number. So against the spread is three and a half in this game since 2007 in night games. So crazy stat you'd have to do your own research. There's a bunch of different websites you could use. I'll link one down below that has like a little algorithm thing, a matrix that you can play around with and try to find your own trends and stuff. I have not bet this game yet. If it does get to three on the Seahawks side, I would definitely be looking at that number a lot closer. I don't know if it actually will right now, but if you can get a minus three, three is a huge key number. If Seahawks win by three, you get your money back. So you eliminate some of that risk. If they win by four, you win the bet. Um, so we'll see if that number gets to three. If it does get to three, I think I will bet it. Partly just based on that trend, partly you got the Patriots, new quarterback, no Brady, ton of people out with COVID. Um, so we will see, and Russell Wilson in prime time is ridiculous. So that's how straight bets work. That's really all there is to it. Parlay bets though, 
Oh, parlay bets are just for fun. There is absolutely nothing like hitting a parlay bet, but you're not gonna win over the course of the long term. This is more so sort of gambling, more so just if your friends are in town, do a bunch of parlays, have fun with it, okay? Uh, if you do more than two team parlays, it's not really a serious bet, I feel like. Um, but what happens with the parlay is that you don't have to wager as much money, the payouts are a lot higher, but you're less likely to hit them. So what you can actually do is we could take the Seahawks three and a half right here, which is gonna be around minus 110, and then you can parlay it with, let's say you like the Rams this week, which by the way, I mean, I'm gonna put this video out before Sunday, I bet this number at plus two. Rams plus two, crazy good defensive line. Eagles O-line struggled, struggled, struggled week one. I know they're getting Lane Johnson back, they're getting Miles Sanders back. If they're gonna dominate that D-line though, I think Rams can walk away. Their offense looked pretty solid against the Cowboys. So even though the Cowboys defense is kind of muscle mass, I think that game was a lot closer than it should have been. I think Rams could have easily won by like 10 plus. So um, we'll see how that goes. But um, over here we have the Rams. They are, they are now underdogs again, even though it shifted this morning. I don't know if ESPN app is correct. William Hill actually had the Rams favorited, which is what I mean by the line can shift depending on where the money is coming in on, depending on who's betting on what. Um, and so part of sports betting, like the majority of it is betting the correct numbers. You don't wanna just pick your favorite team, right? You can do that every now and then and get lucky, but over the course of the long run, you wanna make sure you're getting good numbers. Even if you're on the wrong side, you gotta get the good number, right? And so Rams, I think it opened at plus three and I should've got it at that, but um, I took a chance with plus two because I thought it would flip and it did initially, but now it's plus one again. But parlays, parlays. Zach, you're off topic. What are you doing? Parlay bets. You can parlay both of these spreads. Seahawks to win by four or more. Rams to not lose by more than one. If you do this, both have to occur or you lose. You lose everything. So if you bet, let's say you bet $100 on this parlay, and the Seahawks win by four, and the Rams lose by two, you lose everything, you lose the $100, okay? The flip side of that is if both of them happen, if both of them happen, then the payout is gonna be a lot higher. I don't know exactly what it would be like on this, based on the odds, but a um, $100 bet could pay out like 300. You see people do like 15 team parlays, which is basically just gambling at that point. Uh, 15 team par like a five dollar 15 team parlay would pay out like fifteen hundred dollars, okay? Which is why they're super attractive to people because you don't have to wager a lot of money in order to win a lot of money. But um, it is very unlikely to happen. That is how parlays work. That's how straight bets work. That's the basics of sports betting. Um, there's a whole lot more that goes into it. Like I said, one the numbers are huge can't just pick a team at random. You can, you can get lucky sometimes. It's a bunch of fun. Do it, whatever. I'm trying to do it in the long run, it's probably not gonna work. It's not like I'm over here just flipping a coin and like taking a team, black or red roulette type of shit. There's a bit of research and stuff that you could do. People have different opinions. I mean, it doesn't matter now. I'm gonna post all my picks on Instagram. If you guys wanna follow, I'm gonna start posting them all there. I'm gonna start doing little write-ups too on why I pick certain teams. Last week, Steelers Giants, I had the under in that game. Mike Tomlin on the road as a three point favorite or more. It has like this ridiculous over under record that I'll post. I think it was like two and 22 in the last like 10 years, which is crazy, which probably means like he might be a little bit more conservative on the road. There's a whole bunch of shit that you can do, right? And a lot of people, most people, 99% of the people don't wanna do all that research. I just do it cause it's fucking fun. Like, I love this shit. This shit is just a hobby to me. If I had $10 on a game, I would still be as hyped as winning like a crazy big bet, right? And I'm not there yet, but eventually, like eventually, yeah, I'm gonna get there eventually. Um, it's just like, it's gonna be a part of my life. So uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you stayed till the end of this video and allowing me to share my hobby with you, uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. I might start posting pics here and there. I definitely will on Instagram. I've definitely been posting my pics on Instagram. I know, I know, like if I don't post it on YouTube, people are like weird. I got reps though, I got reps. We went six, one, and two in the NFL week one. Six, one, and two, okay? And so 
Um, I'm super hyped about the NFL season. It's probably, it's, it's my best sport. It's my most watched sport. And so um, I'm gonna continue. Hopefully we can build like a little community too, because I want to continue to improve. People see some things that I don't, vice versa. We can bounce knowledge off each other and we can all cash tickets on these casinos, okay? We're all community and we gotta get after them, right? I'm not trying to gang up on nobody. I'm not trying to say I'm not better than nobody in sports betting. I got a lot to learn. I wanna learn more. I wanna become better. I wanna make these bookies hate us, okay? And so, that being said, uh, I am a Raider fan. I would not take Raiders plus five and a half though against the Saints. Our pass rush, our pass rush looked awful. I hope we win, but I can't bet it. So thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next video.